Hey guys, it's Kim and I am back uh, with a really quick episode of the Crafty Nomad Podcast. Um, I'm your host, my name is Kim, and you can find me all over, um, well, I don't have one name, I have several. So on Ravelry, if you're over there, my name is Pettis Kim Nitz, please go on over there and friend me. In addition, um, you can find me on Instagram as Kim the Crafty Nomad. I do have an Etsy shop, which is not that busy right now, but hopefully uh, I will. Or I should say I don't have a lot of inventory in it right now, uh, but I'm hoping to get myself ramped back up with that. But it's called Ebony Pearl, which I will link down below. And I think the final place that you can find me is on Facebook. We have a Facebook group for this podcast, um, and it is called the Crafty Nomad Podcast Group. I will link it down below. Please come over and join Join me over there. So I hope everybody is doing great. Um, we are all dealing with uh, some very unusual times right now, but everybody is talking about it, so I'm not going to talk about it. Right now, I just discovered or realized that I have a ceiling fan that I could turn on because the last few times that I have recorded, um, I have like fogged up my glasses and I'm hoping to avoid that. Uh, So you could kind of see evidence of the fan. It's reflected on my sock blockers right there. But anyway, I'm glad to come back and uh, uh, speak with you guys. I want to say thank you for everybody who came to our impromptu live last week. Um, it was super fun. Um, it is Christy uh, for, from Crochet Creations by Christy and me. And we have a new show that we are calling Hook and Wait. Yeah, Hook and Stitch Live with Kim and Chris. And so we did our first uh, episode last week. And next Saturday we will have another one. So um, you guys are should be aware that we are also co-hosting a um, uh, crochet along for the and it's called the What Time What Time is Lit? What time is lit? <laughs> the What Time is Lit crochet along is for the lost in time uh crochet shawl and so uh i know a lot of people have already started theirs and i will link christy's facebook group on on the bottom of um in the description box below because over there is where you're going to be posting all of your progress um pictures i don't know she may already have a post for it if she does i will link the specific post uh down below and you guys can go on over there we we're so excited it's a three month uh crochet along and i have not started yet i am considering because okay so here's the story I ordered yarn from Hobie, a beautiful, uh, is it Twirls, Twister, I don't know, a beautiful, like, antique rose cake that was just all these shades of pink, and I just recently discovered that I like the way I look in pink, (laughs) it has to be the right kind of pink, and that was the right kind of pink, and, um, Man, it has not shown up. I ordered it right before all the crazy. And so I think it's being held somewhere. Um, Hold on, I got to stop Alexa. Alexa, stop. She's reminding me uh, to pray. I set a reminder. Um, Yeah, and there's some specific things I'm praying about on a regular basis. And uh, I wanted to remember to pray in unity with some other folks but I said it wrong because the folks that are praying are in the Midwest so they already prayed anyway um so yeah I ordered that beautiful ball of yarn that it was a cake and it has not shown up I think that it is here in the country but because of you know I think they set up an embargo I think they stopped a lot of things once uh, the pandemic showed up strong in this country I think they shut the place down so I haven't gotten my Hobie order so I went ahead and I ordered some Joy DK from Michaels and it's a I think it's called Berry Stripe and um, yeah so 
I'm going to be doing that. It should get here on Wednesday, so I'll get started. So by the time you guys see our live next Saturday, I should have some work done on it. I know Christy is enjoying it so far. A lot of people have already started. So, uh, yeah, I'm behind the eight ball, but that's okay. We got three months. The crochet along will last from April 1st, which is couple days ago already it started all the way up until June 30th so it's going to be a gorgeous shawl I'm looking forward to getting started with mine and I'm so happy Christy asked me to co-host with her on this one so I'm notoriously bad at crochet alongs I was successful with uh Terry's because it did Terry's uh <laughs> the 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 rectangles and squares um Afghan was she it was open-ended she really didn't have a time on it but because of that and the season of the granny I managed to get that one done anyway uh, I have two finished things I want to show you I showed one of them on the live um, but I did not show it here so I'm going to show it here is one knitted finished object and one crochet finished object and for the crochet let me go ahead and show you that I actually finished my Just Feel Festive shawl. And it is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm not going to put it on because I did try to put on a little bit of makeup for you guys. Just to look a little bit more polished on this video. And I don't want to get any makeup on it. So, uh... It is, it turned out so beautiful. And you guys, oh, and I didn't bring it over here because I did show on the live that um, I got a haul from Lion Brand. So if you're not already signed up for the Lion Brand um, newsletter or just sign up or register an account on their site so you can get their emails, they have been having flash sales like crazy. And I tried to resist this one, but I just couldn't. It was a uh, shawl and a ball. And they were $2 each. So, yeah. Uh, I For my email, again, my email said 80% off of $9.99, which is $2. And other people got the 5 for 10 But with that one, if that's the code you got, then you had to buy 5 to get them at $2 each. So, it's a little different. I don't know what makes them make a, a difference like that. But it happened the same way with the DIY yarns. But anyway. This is a pattern, this lovely pattern. And so, oh, I forgot to bring over my uh, ball bands. But I used two different colors. The pattern is by Kalisha Ryan over at the Quirky Monday podcast, which I will link down below. She is also Nadira Tani uh, everywhere else on, on the internet. So, uh, she's Nadira Tani um, on Instagram, and the podcast is called the Quirky Monday Podcast. And I had one ball. I started uh, all the from here, all the way through here, and really all the way up until you start seeing those greens. That's uh, calming blue. And then this, the greens, is the healing teal. Now, I did not use the entire ball. I could have just kept going, but this is actually pretty long. I didn't measure it, but it is a very beautiful, a very substantial uh, length on it, and I love it. Now, when she designed the Just Feel Festive, she designed it to do with, um, when you, you know, when you get the minis in your, uh, what is it called? your advent calendar minis and that's what she designed hers for uh but i just y'all know i don't like to weave in ends right so i used the show on the ball and it turned out lovely now i considered using shawl in the ball for uh the lost in time uh shawl but i knitted i started doing the first few rows and the way this yarn is made the stitch definition i just feel like with that just with that um lost in time shawl i want a very smooth no halo and you know this has that thick thin you can see the little fuzziness it has all that going on which is lovely in this but 
that is not what I wanted my other my my lost in time uh, shawl to look like so I went for it with this this is a very easy it's basically a parallelogram you are crocheting a parallelogram and my brain would never have been able to conceive of it so shout out to Kalisha for being able to conceive of such a beautiful pattern um, but it is so quick I started it last Saturday and I finished it on Sunday now granted you know we on lockdown and we can't go anywhere but uh, you know and, and truth be told, I'm not mad. I don't really want to go. <laughs> I'm fine with the lockdown. I'm staying safe at home. Um, and you should too. <laughs> anyway, it turned out to be beautiful. And I'm actually, since I got, I got like, I think I got eight. I think I got eight of those uh, shawls in a ball. So I'm considering making another one. We'll see. Um, I'll have to show you guys, uh, what I got another time because I didn't bring it over here. And I, I'm, I'm recording on a Chromebook webcam. And so I'm not sure how to edit. I'm not sure how that's all going to work out here. So rather than, um, stop and start, I'm just going to keep on going. I don't think there's going to be much editing on this at all. And my second finish is a knitted one. And it's a plain knitted beanie. And this is just, I just cast on 80 stitches and I forgot my needles. And for me, this part is just not long enough. I have a big old head. Uh, but it, it would work for others. Uh, I just have a big head. And I put on a removable faux fur pom-pom. It is, um, it has the elastic loop, so I just put a button on the inside. And so I don't really like that floppiness. But that's just how it is. So I don't know what I'm doing with this hat yet. But uh, it, it was the leftovers from the cowl. And I think it was probably a work in progress. Maybe on my last episode. But you guys saw the uh, handbrake cowl that I finished. And it was in the Loops and Threads Impeccable Yarn in the colorway Neapolitan. And this is the same yarn. I used up the rest on this hat. So that's that for that. That's my other finish. And then I, um, you guys know I use Lion Brand, it's a Lion Brand Heartland, or Lion Brand, I think it's Heartland, anyway, it's the heathery one, and I did a granny, um, stitch beanie for the Hat Not Hate campaign when we did our live a few weeks ago, and I still had part of that ball left, so I cast on another hat and this time I went smaller with my needles and that's how it's, it's beautiful the way this this yarn knits up beautifully crochets up beautifully too it's a really nice yarn. you see that see it? it's got that heathery look and I love it actually looks my stitches look great actually in this I'm fairly proud of that they they look really good. Uh, I think I might have found the right combination, yarn and needle. Now, these needles, let me see if I can reach. I don't, I'm going to make a mess, so I'll show you next time. I was going to show you uh, where these needles came from, and these are, I found out about these needles from Ross. I'll pull out a little bit so you can see. Ross, um, smell great, great. Uh, smell great guy smells like yarn podcast he's been doing a ton of lives a, a lot of people are though right now because man we all at home might as well um anyway i'll show you these i got mine from amazon but they are definitely from china and i and um ross talked about these being very similar to my favorite chow goose and uh, they really are in the sense of, if you can look at them, you can see. They are not nearly, can you see that? Uh, they are not nearly as pointy. This is not as pointy as this. But, they still grab the yarn beautifully. And what's really similar is this cording. And I think that the cording on Chowgoo, that is the genius of these. Because when you buy, like, 
uh, Susan Bates or whatever, or you buy those El Cheapo um, sets you can get on Amazon, the bamboo ones with that clear tube, it's nightmarish. And it, it, it really makes a difference. Your tools make a difference because uh, these child glue needles made me come back to and actually love knitting more because I was frustrated. Uh, I think that's why crochet took over, which is going to always be king. Crochet is queen. <laughs> but if you have the right tools, it just makes a huge difference in your knitting. Now, I did not bring my socks over here because I haven't worked on them. And honestly, I think I'm being affected by everything that's going on because I barely worked on the hat. And after I uh, finish the Just Feel Festive on Sunday, I haven't crocheted at all. I'm going to try to rectify that tonight because I think if I just kind of lean into losing my crojo, I'll lose it for a while and I don't want to lose it. So I'm going to crochet tonight after I uh, get this video uploaded. Um, but I will show you what I, oh, let me see. Oh, okay. So I got something in the mail. I don't know what I was doing. I mean, we got all this time and, you know, uh, you know where you can go online and shop so what i did uh i went you know i've been i've been going on amazon trying to uh order food and everything else and while i was there i just i don't know what made me do this but i looked at project bags and this was there was this one project bag that was only $8.99 and it came with a bunch of tools so i ordered it just so i could see so this is how it comes it's called the athena why why knitting something kits and knitting bag mm, new and this is how it came now i will show you my i wish i could show you my listing but the listing that i chose was blue first of all so here's what it looks like and i haven't opened it so let's see what's on the inside i did not expect to be it to be the material that it seems to be I thought it was gonna be like a cotton. Should have known for $8.99. But you take it out of the envelope and you get this bag. Now I'm gonna turn it to the side so you can see. It's not that wide, but it has little sand handles. And in the picture, the person is holding it like this with the knitting on the inside and they are able to walk around. And it's got little drawstring so that's kind of cute and then on the inside of it came this all of that so you get the bag and you get a little kit and it's got uh, it's got some interesting things in here let's open it all right, so it has some split stitch markers. Now, those are more like for knitting, but well, you can use them for crochet because they're split. These are some of my favorite kind to use, the little safety pin looking ones. You've got the needle point protector so that you can put them on the ends of your when you have your work, like right now, I have my work and it's just sitting in a basket. I'm, I'm kind of imitating Krista over at the Secret Urinary. Uh, but you can, you could lose the stitches, but you put one on this. Uh, it's like a stopper. You put the stopper on here and the stopper on here. And that'll keep you from losing your stitches. So they have a few of those in there. And then they have these, actually, somebody was saying that they, I heard somebody recently say how they use these somehow in their knitting, but I use these in sewing. These are like little wonder clips. So you got three of those in there. You've got uh, a larger size needle point. Uh, so this one would fit probably this one a little bit better. That's a bigger needle. She so got four of those for the small ones. Uh oh. And then you have these giant wonder clips, which I don't know what these are for, but they look like they would be handy. And then another kind of a clip, which is kind of 
weird but different good okay and then you got a bunch of well you got three different cable cable needles for three different size yarns cable needles and you also got three very two very big eh, I can't get it out okay there you go yarn needles can never have enough and then the final oh two more things you get a tape measure and whatever this is any guesses okay guess 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 I don't know so I'm gonna open it my guess is scissors what do you guys say a seam ripper I don't know why you would need a seam ripper in a knitted a knitting yarny kit but okay yep snips so they come just like this that's super cute actually that might have been worth the $8.99 right there now let's see do I have a piece of any kind of anything that I could cut and see how sharp this is but I really don't I really don't unless I cut the this little piece off the bottom let's see how sharp pretty good all right all right so $8.99 I am not that crazy about this but you know in a pinch it will work uh if you are a podcaster and in any way interested in maybe doing a giveaway with it you could do that you could get something like this and and do a giveaway which I have given away I have given away Wait, I've given away a kit like this, but much smaller. Um, it had the same type of stuff in it, just the box was smaller than this. Um, yeah, it's probably about that much smaller. Anyway, that is what I got in the mail. And then that's the final thing I wanted to share with you guys is even though I lost my Crojo, I got my Sojo back. <laughs> So my, my Etsy shop is not stocked because I haven't really been sewing since I that really big project that I, I sold a uh, 100 bags for that project. So I, I lost all the steam on the sewing, but I got it back because I wanted to make want some masks because the government recommended that now, once we if we go out uh, for any reason, we should all be wearing masks. So I made... Um, first one I made was this style which I made for my husband and it's the pleated style with the elastic and then I made this one for me I won't put it on because again it will, I will have makeup but I made that one for me and it's just you know the printed fabric and then the back is uh, just some muslin on that one so that's mine and then I made this one for my little guy. He got superhero stuff. So my husband wants me to make him one. So that's next on the list. And then um, he just has the same gray as the one my husband's made up. Now the one that I made for my husband will be the only one that I make like this. Because I actually like this design much better. Um, I got it from, uh, well, I got it to, from a tutorial on, um, it's a mix. I first followed a tutorial on YouTube, which I will link down below, and then uh, I watched a tutorial on joannes.com, joann.com, and really went more with what they did. I mean, I, the pattern piece that I'm using, um, the tutorial from YouTube is the one I got the pattern pieces from, and I'm trying to find the biggest piece, but I don't see it right now. It's not over here. Uh, but this is something that was printable and given away for free on that um, on that um, YouTube video that I followed. And then I, so I followed the YouTube video, made mine exactly, okay, let me show you. I made mine exactly the way the YouTube video um, and Jordan's too. I made these both according to the YouTube video used her pattern and used her directions and you see how you end up putting the elastic on the outside like that 
I didn't quite like that, but that's the way the tutorial went, so that's what I went with. I didn't quite like that, so when I saw the one from Joann's, which is a whole different actual pattern piece, but I made mine exactly the way they put it together. So now, uh, I'll show you the ones I finished. I finished this one, and as you can see, you don't see the raw edges of anything and I like that better so I made this one with flannel I had had some um uh flannel um fabric in the in the um what do you call this camouflage print so I made that one then I had a scrap of denim laying around so I made one with that same green fabric on the inside and then this is very similar to the green, but in, in turquoise. And then on the Joann one, they also, the first one I made was this one. Because they made it where you could put ribbon and just tie. So I made that one. And I left the ribbons long so that whoever I end up giving this to, they can just cut the ribbon to whatever length. And then I went back to... Uh, which the ribbon is a really good option if you don't have any elastic and if you are a sewist and you are trying to make a mask for people you know that elastic is hard to come by so the ribbon was a good option but out of the one little thing of um elastic i had i got um i still have one more i can make one more mask so i've made about 10 masks with one little thing of elastic and then I made another one like this. And I actually put quilt batting in the middle of mine. So they're soft. And then some of them I have put like a layer of felt. Those are fabrics that I had around. And this is the last one that I made. All right. So I watched a bunch of different ones. I thought about crocheting one, but I needed I wanted to crank out more than I could crochet. So these sewn ones, basically I'm just trying to outfit my family. So I have some to make for. I've got us taken care of. I need to take care of my mom, my sister, my niece, her son, and then um a couple other people so I uh, also had the opportunity to donate there's a group of moms here in the Culver City area that are making masks uh, for the medical community and I just don't have time because I'm still working and even though these are quick I made most of these between Friday and today because I'm working during the week but anyway um but I had the opportunity to donate a bunch of fabric to these moms which made me feel great because I can't make them I don't have the time but this group of moms have the time they have the skills but they need the fabric and so I pulled together a whole um, garbage bag full of fabric and I arranged I told the lady I'll sit it outside my door and she came she got it she didn't knock on my door she just texted me said I got it I don't even know what she looks like like I can run into her on the streets and I will have no idea that this is the woman that I gave <laughs> <laughs> the fabric too so um i was just i'm glad i got a chance to do that because um i just really don't have time to make hundreds of these things but i can certainly make enough for my family and a few friends so that's what i'm doing with that so yeah that was an incredible opportunity i was very happy to be able to do it and um yeah i'm, I'm cranking them out i just need to make um i need to make a bunch more so I can mail them off uh, to my family. Um, but yeah, we're well over here. We're doing great. I just uh, wanted to pop in real quick. Let you guys know we're going to have a live next week. And let you know what I've been up to. And yep, I'll be putting up a preview link at some point. Where you can set your reminder for next Saturday. We hope to have a bunch of you guys come out and join us. Um... We might even tap a couple of you ahead of time to see it, to sort of arrange for you to pop in with us on the show. And we'll do some random pop ins as well. If you want anything from me from the last two, you know, lives or whatever, 
I have mailed my things out and hopefully you have received them. I finally, with the help of Chris, uh, I figured out how to just print my postage at home and schedule a pickup for the um, mailman to come and get it. So you guys should have your stuff by now. If not now, then probably Monday. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, this was not as quick as I thought it was going to be, but that's how it always is, right? Anyway, uh, I will see you guys next week. I may do some more videos. I'm hoping to pull off a Zoom, uh, so uh, like a knit, a virtual knit night, uh, not knit night, but a a, a virtual craft night where you can be knitting, you can be crocheting, you can be doing all kinds of things. So be on the lookout for that. I wonder if I could pull something like that off tomorrow. We shall see. All right, if I do, I'm going to put a link over it on my pages in on Facebook so that anybody who wants to jump in will be able to. Although I can't just do that because I don't know if you guys have heard. People are Zoom bombing. People are finding links into very, you know, Zoom meetings. Everybody uses them now. And they are most of the time being used for education. They're being used for professional meetings. But people are finding people's links and jumping in and taking over the screen and saying a bunch of horrible things and ruining the meeting. So I'm not sure I'm going to do that. I, I got to figure out how to. I think I can set up my Zoom where... Um, you have to have a password to come in. I th actually, I think Zoom just did that. They set it up so everybody has to have a password to get in. So we'll figure out how to get the word out, but I would love to do that. Anyway, guys, I have been rambling on long enough, and I will talk back to you guys on the next video. Peace. Until we meet again, keep it crafty. Bye.